Hey everyone, welcome back to Imagination Tech. So today we are going to be taking a look at this Airbot Typhoon 4-in-1 S Racer. It is a 4-in-1 ESC and it provides current and voltage sensing, 30 amps for all of your motors. And uh, right now, let's just go ahead and take a look at what's inside. So this is the Airbot Typhoon 4-in-1 ESC and uh, this is made by Airbot. Um, there are a couple of places where you can get this. Uh, I actually got this from the October drone drop I think. I think it was the October drone drop. And uh, you can get this also from um, from places like Amazon. I think Pyroflip RC still has them. And Banggood also sells them although it does say orig original on Banggood. I'm not quite sure if it is really original. I've had bad uh, experience with uh, getting their original Omnibot, uh, Omnibus F4 um, flight controllers. They, those, those ones burn out pretty quickly, so uh, your mileage might, may vary, but um, anyway, I'm going to put some links in the description below to those. So here, um, let's just uh, open this package right now. Okay, so it, it, it comes in an easy open package, easy tear package, so it does come with a manual. and. And another package for the actual uh, 41 ESC and a couple of connectors. So yeah, so when you look at the listing on Banggood, it, it says it doesn't come with any cables or connectors. So yeah, the legitness of that page is already put into question. So let's just put that away for a second and then open this, uh, open up this other package. So it's a nice blue color. You can, as you can see. Here are the pads for uh, for ground and negative, ground and positive. So this apparently can take four four uh, S up to six S. Here are the pins for uh, your motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. Now for the connectors, going from left to right, uh, from yellow to left, all the way to uh, the white wire, onto all the way to the right. Uh, yellow is for battery, and then followed by current, which uh, depending on which flight controller you have, can be used for voltage and current sensing followed by VSS. Now the next wire is not connected, but the following four wires are for motor 1s to 4 respectively. Now this also runs BL Heli S, so that means that you can use turtle mode with this uh, with this flight with this ESC. And uh, so you, or you know if you flip your quad, you don't you no longer need to pick it up in uh, in some cases you can just flip uh, flip a switch on your Tyrannus and use turtle mode and then flip try to flip your quad uh, up right side up. So let's go ahead and put this in Sierra. Now, one thing you need to know about the about the Typhoon is that uh, the the motor order is a little bit different from Betaflight. So in Betaflight, this is your motor one, this motor two, motor three, and motor four. But here, um, the pads for the motors this is motor one, this is motor two, this is three, and this is four. So one um, one simple solution, if you need, if, if you're, for example, if you're going to be mounting your uh, ESC this way um, well you can just you can simply flip rather uh, no um, so here's if you flip it on the other side your motor one is going to be this one and uh, your motor two is going to be this motor three is going to be this and motor four is going to be here so that lines up with all of your arms uh, it does change the orientation since um, the the XT60 pads are now going to be towards the right but you know, depending on your preference, you might want to have your uh, you, you might 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 want to have these pads on the right of your quad anyway, and uh, the the pads are also going to be pointing back and pointing forwards. But you know that's okay because you're just going to be routing your wires um, over here anyway, so that's not going to make a make make much of a difference in uh, my opinion. So yeah, so this is uh, this is it this is the the ESC when it's right side up. And you just flip it like that, and you have all of all of your motor pads aligned with your arms. Now another way, if you if you really want to, like you, you need to mount it like this, or if you want it mounted like this. Now we the last four uh, the last four wires here are for more for the motor wires, more signal wires. So more one, two, three, and four in sequence from left to right. So let me just uh, take all of those wires. 
So these last four wires are your are, are your motor signal wires, and uh, fr from yellow, this is motor signal wire one, two, three, and four. So uh, we know that motor, that the yellow wire corresponds to this uh, this corner, and the blue wire corresponds to this corner. So you simply connect the blue wire to motor three because that's uh, where your motor three is. So you just connect this to the motor three pad on your flight controller, and the next one, the green one you connect it to motor 2 on your flight controller so this one while it corresponds to this pad you have your motor to attach this so they're just simply wires you just mix them up and uh, you, you connect them to where you need them you need to connect them to so if you connect uh, again this for motor wire 1 on your you, you solder this yellow wire to your motor wire 1 on your F on your flight controller and the blue wire you uh, you soldered it onto motor wire three on your flight controller. The green wire is uh, connected to two, and the white wire is connected to signal pad number four. So basically, what we did is we just flipped two and three by flipping the wires, right? So uh, let me just uh, do that quickly, right? So what we need to do right now is to piece in all of these pads so that we can solder on our flight controller. Next up, we just need to solder on our pigtail. So this is the Helio Spring All-in-One Flight Controller, and I did a video about the about this flight controller a while back. So I'm gonna post a link in the in a, here in a, in a card, and I do hope you check that out because this is a really nice flight controller. Now to power this flight controller or any flight controller for that matter, you would take your uh, your VBAT pad, VBAT, VBAT wire, uh, which is the leftmost wire on our uh, 4-in-1 ESC and you would hook that up to the main positive pad and the third wire is the ground pad and that's what you hook up to the ground pad of the of the flight controller now you could uh, you might say that you could uh, you know put a 14 gauge wire directly here and then just uh, just tap a 14 gauge wire and solder that directly onto the flight controller but the problem with that is that it would bypass the the current sensor so all of your, uh, the current sensor works by having all of the all of the current flowing through this so you have to power your flight controller via these wires or else you're not going to get an accurate reading similarly if you're uh, if you hooked up your pigtail direct onto your helio spring and, and powering uh, your 4-in-1 via your helio spring then you would have to use one of these uh, one of your esc pads uh, to power your esc instead of just you know tapping it straight from the xc60 but because again that would bypass the current sensor on this one so yeah so the second wire this is the current current sense uh, current sense wire, and it gives a reading of of the current uh, of whatever the value that the current sensor is getting, and it feeds it onto the flight controller. So uh, again, de depending on your flight controller, you may or may not have a current sense pad, but this one does, or uh, if you have an e uh, ESC telemetry pad. So uh, the ESC telemetry pad or the current sense is this one, right beside the LED, and uh, we need to solder the, this onto the, to that one. The fourth wire is uh, not connected at all, so we can just you know safely remove that. And we're going to be soldering on the motor wo motors one to four onto the onto their respective corners. So that's it for the Typhoon 4 in 1 ESC and uh, we have uh, now just uh, put our, our 4 in 1 ESC uh, as well as our FC and we now have a really nice stack and all that's left is to transplant uh, these motors and the, the camera and uh, this motor mount and the, and the receiver and we just need to put uh, probably going to put some uh, motor soft mounts that I got from Team Black Sheep for uh, quite, uh, quite some time ago. So yeah, I'm going to post a link, link to, to uh, in the description to the product pages of these things if you are interested in getting them yourself. But yeah, um, the, the rest of the things uh, I'm not probably not need, that I don't need to show you anymore. Um, uh, just one little one last thing is that um, these ESCs they have uh, pads uh, underneath as well, so you can you can tin them above or below. Now um, I think it's it's really preferential. It depends on on how you want to 
um, set up your quad but uh, you know um, I'm fine with having it up here it's easier for me to solder and to maintain but if you will want it to be a little bit more sleeker and you can also do that um, tin the underside and then just solder your motor wires onto that directly so that has been it for the Typhoon 4-in-1 S Racer ESC 4-in-1 ESC and uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, might have found this useful. So if you did find this uh, video useful, click on the like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and also do check out my other videos as well. Like uh, like um, the vid my video of the Helio Spring All-in-One Flag Controller. Because that's really nice. Alright, so that has been it guys. I hope you, you have a good day. And uh, it's almost Christmas, so Merry Christmas as well to all of you guys. Uh, when uh, I hope I hope to to get this video out before Christmas. All right. So anyway, keep building, keep flying, and Merry Christmas to you all.